All right, so today we're going to look at the uh, we're going to look at this protein skimmer we picked up on Amazon. Um, it, it's pretty much one of the cheaper protein skimmers you can buy. It, it cost me like thirty dollars or so. Um, see what else? So it, it's the BioCube protein skimmer um, it's for their like seventeen and yeah, they're fourteen and twenty nine and HQI tanks. <clears throat> so it can also work with any tank. If you use the suction cups, so you, you can use the suction cups, attach it to any tank. Um, if you use it with the bio cube, there's a little hook where you can just hook it on right in the correct place. So we're, we're going to use it with a generic 10 gallon tank. So we have like a super micro saltwater tank that I basically just have, I, I have hermit crabs and uh, one, one green crab in. They're all very small crabs. Um, and, I, and I have a few very small snails. So I have snails, hermit crabs, one green crab. So a lot of really small invertebrates in this tank, no fish at all. Um, so far the tank is, um, it, it, it's, it's basically, um, I, I have makeshift filter in the tank that kind of works okay, but it's, it's um, just incredibly insufficient. And um, the, the tank is filled with a lot of dirty seawater. Um, I've done one water change where I made my own water. Um, but we're, we're going to try to get it, get the water properly filtered with this thing. So I, I didn't, you know, it's a, it's a micro tank. It's, it's on a budget also, but, um, this is just something to start out kind of as a test. We're not putting any actual fish in it. Um, just invertebrates and, um, in any case, we're, we're starting out with the cheap, simple filter just to test it out. And um, for, from what a lot of people is, have said in their reviews of this filter is that um, it doesn't work well after a certain amount of time. And what I've actually gathered from what other people have said about it is that if you tune it properly, you can get it to work pretty well. It's far from being the best skimmer. Um, normally you'll spend like 100 maybe $200 on a skimmer. For a tiny tank like this, this should work fine for now if we decide to go with something else. Maybe we'll buy something more expensive later on. There's a good chance we'll, that I'll be buying a larger tank, probably a 50-gallon, maybe a 100-gallon at some point. I'm more than likely to expand to multiple tanks. But for now, this is just an experimental 10-gallon tank with invertebrates that are very small and very durable. Um, so this, this is where we're starting. They've been using um, basically fresh seawater scooped out of the ocean for a while until just recently I've, I've actually started making my own salt water. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a step up for the tank um, and we're going to get this installed and see how it works. It's a pretty simple installation, um, there's not a whole lot to it. So let's let's take this apart and, and look what actually comes in here. So um, it comes with some instructions that I've already gone through. So we have the, oops just dropped apart. So one of the suction cups, um, here's the tubing. Uh, this is the reaction chamber. And uh, the, the top, it comes with, uh, looks like a wooden air stone. Uh, apparently wood makes uh, makes smaller bubbles. And um, generally that's, that's actually one of the reasons, bubble size is one of the reasons a protein skimmer is not efficient for fresh water just because of the surface tension on the water. The surface tension is different in a salt water tank than in a fresh water tank. So salt water makes it possible to have smaller bubbles, which works efficiently, or which um, basically allows a uh, protein skimmer to work efficiently. So yeah, generally that's why you don't use them in fresh water tanks, but they work great in salt water tanks. So let's see what we have here. A bunch of parts that I just dropped on the floor again. Um, this box aside, so we have a, um, this is the check valve, which um, makes it so that basically this check valve makes it so that if your pump shuts down or you lose power or something, the water is not going to flow back up the tube into your, uh, you know, down, down to your actual pump and like sh short it out or, or get the plug wet or anything like that or cause a mess on your floor. It's generally just to make it so the water flows in one direction. So that's pretty important. Um, two suction cups, nothing too exciting there. Um, th this is the inline air flow valve, according to the instructions right here. Um, yeah, basically this just, this adjusts the air coming into it. Um, you're you're going to want to fiddle around with this to get the airflow right, just to get it bubbling properly. 
Now, let's see here. This is our actual pump, um, pretty similar to a normal air pump, pretty much identical actually. You're just going to attach the tube here, attach the other end of the tube to, um, I mean, actually, actually you're going to have like the, the this little check valve and the air, the, the inline airflow valve in, in the middle also, but basically one end goes on the end of this, this pump, the other end will go on the end of this, this air stone, which is actually wooden, which is inside here for now. So similar to how you would normally aerate an aquarium. So not too, too much different there. I'm going to try to put this thing together here and then bring it over to the tank. So, um, yep, this is the air stone. It's, uh, it's all wood. It doesn't look like it's perforated on purpose. I'm not sure how. Well, one way or another, air does flow through this thing. Um, let's see here. Generally, I guess this just goes in here like that. And um, <clears throat> the idea is that you would want. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this thing set up and see how it all fits together and start recording again. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this again. All right, uh, things are a little bit different from the diagram here, so. Um, the check valve actually, I mean, it's not transparent. You would think it would be transparent um, based on the diagram. It, it completely isn't. Um, the only way you can tell which way it's supposed to go is by the, the small words on the end of it here. So let's see, I, I don't think you can really read that with the camera. It doesn't want to focus in close and the lighting's not right. But anyways, it says in on this side and out on this side. So in, I guess, is where the air goes in and out is where it comes out. So that that's simple enough, I guess. The uh, air, the inline air flow valve, is actually a completely different shape from what they show. They show it having this little knob on top and this little end over here in the diagram. So this is different from the diagram in the manual. No big deal. Um, just to connect the two ends of the tube here. Now, as it turns out, we we have one big long tube, which is all fine and great, except that we need uh, three separate lengths of tube. The way they recommend during in the instructions here, which we can loosely follow or disregard completely if we feel like it. But they say six inches here, six inches here between each of these valves, and then the rest of it going up here. So we'll, we'll, we're kind of going to do that. We're going to guesstimate six inches, but really, I mean, I'm not going to measure it because really, I'm just going to pick the length that I think um, I think just feels right for me. So yeah, we're, we're going to go with that and see how it works. So I've got some scissors here and I'm going to cut this and start assembling this thing. And I feel like the more interesting thing would be putting this part together, not the tubing, but I'm going to record this anyways. Feel free to skip past this if this is really boring. All right, so we've got these pieces cut and we're gonna start attaching them. I think it kind of makes sense to put it this way. This is the only way this is gonna work. The next next line of tubing here. I'm add the check valve in, make sure it's going in the right direction. And you'll notice uh, this thing actually snaps on here. It doesn't go up the, the whole length of the chamber, but that's okay. Uh, apparently it just redirects the, the bubbles or something. OK, 
connect the airstone after you've run this through. And um, you know, pull the pull the tube back through until the airstone goes back inside here. Ice this also serves to hold the airstone in place. Um, pull it till it's kind of secure, but don't pull it too hard. So this thing is going to go on right here. And um, basically line these two parts up here. These are where your suction cups would go. Um, this is your hook if you had the bio cube, which we don't. Um, may as well throw the suction cups on right now. There we go. So the top looks like this. Um, basically the bubbles will come up through here. You don't want any water coming up into this chamber. You basically just want the bubbles and foam to come over the top here and collect in here. So all the waste is going to collect in the top up here. So you basically need to adjust the height of it just to make sure the bubbles are coming through the right way. You're also going to adjust the air intake to, so air intake and the height of the actual skimmer. It'll pop this on like this, pop the top on like this, and that's pretty much it. And so one, once this fills up with a, a lot of waste, you're basically going to pop this off, dump it in your sink, and that's that's pretty much it. That's, that's the whole process. So there we go. We, we have this thing set up, and we're ready to install it in our tank. All right, so here's my crab tank again. Um, you'll notice the giant spider crab is not there because we released it back into the ocean. Um, you'll also notice um, all the rocks are in kind of one big pile on the one side there. And we've actually added sand as a substrate, which is a whole lot nicer. Um, we still have a whole bunch of hermit crabs in there, but we, uh, yeah, that, that, that's basically it. A few, few snails, a bunch of hermit crabs climbing around. Um, so some of them are hidden within the rocks. There's a green crab which pretty much hides all the time. Um, and you'll notice over here I have a, uh, I have kind of a makeshift filter that I constructed out of a plastic bottle. That thing's going to go away and we're going to use just the protein skimmer. Um, I'll, I'll see about when I want to get rid of it. I don't know if I want to get rid of it today or what I want to do, but we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. I'm actually not even sure how this is going to fit, but we'll, we'll see. And there we go, so we have it installed. Oops. Yeah, so there it is. I think we're gonna have to push that down a little bit, but we'll see. Um, I currently have an aerator and my makeshift filter over there, which I guess just got disconnected, no big deal. Maybe I'll dismantle that thing now. So we're gonna have to power this thing on. Now you can see it started bubbling over almost immediately. You can see the foam starting to collect there. So that's pretty much what we want. I had to push this thing down a little bit, but um, it seems like it's working. We're gonna have to come back and check it later. But I think we're actually good. If you look in there, you see the bubbles coming out the top. That's, that's kind of what we want. So we're, we're gonna see how that works out and if it actually collects any, any actual waste. We're gonna have to leave it running for a little while, and I think I'm gonna dismantle my makeshift filter. All right, so a quick follow-up to this video. Just figured I'd tack this on the end of the video. I actually recorded this video over four years ago and never published it. So I wanted to get this out there 
and um, I actually just now went through and edited everything and I'm um, adding this on the end of it. So all the other audio you heard on this video I recorded four years ago back in 2018. Um, yeah, so anyways, quick follow up. This uh, protein skimmer worked out pretty well. Um, this tank actually contained all wild caught crabs and snails and other stuff that we had caught in the ocean and everything has pretty much been released back to the ocean now. So um, we, we did that and we dismantled the tank. We have some other freshwater tanks running now, but um, nothing salt water at the moment. So it's, it's all been decommissioned since then. But, uh, but yeah, it, it worked out pretty well for the time being. I had this protein skimmer running for a while and it was doing its job. So yeah, I would still recommend it. Check the link down below in the description if you uh, want to know where you can pick it up. I'm going to try to put a link to this protein skimmer or whatever the newest equivalent model is um, on Amazon or wherever else. I'll try to put a link to where you can pick that up and maybe some other useful links too. So you might want to check that out. Um, yeah, so uh, that that's pretty much it. Just wanted to, you know, add this on here since this is such an old video. Um, I just wanted to, you know, give some feedback as to how it's go, how it went and how things all worked out with this protein skimmer. So hopefully you found that useful. So, um, yeah, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell icon. Otherwise YouTube won't know, let you know when we do come out with new videos and you're not going to want to miss some of the stuff we do have coming up with a lot more interesting stuff that we're going to be publishing. So, uh, yeah, don't miss out, hit that subscribe button. And uh, leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know or um, you have any any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever. We want to hear about it. Um, don't just leave the comment for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video, um, you know, just so they can be informed too. And, and so everybody can, you know, just so we get as much information out there as possible. So, yeah, comment down below, like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.